What's going on Pixel Hackers? Christian Lotus it's from Pixel Feet here. In this video, we're going to talk about how to narrow your audience when creating your Facebook ads. But before we get started, make sure to smash that like button, subscribe to the channel, and let's dive right in. So something that's been working really well for me post the iOS 14 changes by Apple is narrowing down audiences when it comes to your ad sets and your targeting. Uh, I call it the old school uh, type of way of doing ads when it comes to Facebook ads. And let me show you what I'm talking about. So when you're creating an ad set, you click in here, you give it a name, right? And then when you go to your detailed targeting down here, there's gonna be a little section when you click here, where you put in your targeting, your interest. So let's say I want cats and then you see this little button right here that says narrow audience okay and what happens is every time you narrow your audience what you're telling facebook essentially what you're doing is you're telling facebook hey i want people who are part of this interest pool and also this other interest pool meaning that they have to have both interest inside their profile in order for facebook to show their ads and you can actually narrow down this multiple ways you can now go down one two three four five layers you can get really hyper targeted now the trick here especially post ios 14 changes is you have to still keep your audiences broad and big and when i i mean big i mean in the millions so let me show you something i have an ad set here that's doing really well and i actually launched this ad set not too long ago i think it was like a few days ago let me see uh august 6 right What's today's date? I don't even know. I think the 10th. Uh, so anyway, as you can see, it already has seven purchases. Uh, cost per purchase is around $30, which is okay because my purchase, my ROAS is about 2.1. And that's not even accurate. It's actually higher than that. So when I go in here, the way that I start is that I go two layers deep, you know? So I basically, the way you want to do it is at the top, you want your most broad audiences, right? And then when you narrow down, you want to narrow down with your smaller audiences because the trick here is to keep your audience as big as you can in the millions for it to work. If you go all under like 5 million, 4 million, or even 1 million, it's not going to perform at all because the audience is not going to be big enough uh, for the algorithm to find the people that are most likely to convert. Back in the day, we used to do it where we will bring our audiences like literally between 750,000 to 1.5 million and that was the perfect sweet spot and it worked. But the algorithm wasn't as strong uh, and it didn't have an upper hand like it does now uh, with the technology that Facebook has developed. So how do I do it now? When I first set up my ad set, I keep it super broad. And you know, some of you are sitting here and it's like, oh my God, how do you find all those interests? Where you can do it the, 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 the hard way, which is you know just sitting there and just typing each interest by itself, or you can use a tool like Connect You, which I show you guys multiple times in this channel. There's a link for it in the description and in the comments for a lifetime deal. It makes it super easy for for you to find the interest and it actually layers them for you. Now, you don't have to use Connect2, you can do it manually. So I'm gonna walk you through how I do it so you guys can see how I play with the sizes of the audiences. Now, the first thing that I would do with this ad set since it's working really well, it's proven with my two broad audiences, which I, this, I, cons I still consider this very broad, is basically my next move here, what I'm going to do is, I'm gonna grab half of these interests right here, like let's say from here, and then I'm gonna layer it down one more time, which is gonna make my audience much smaller. But even though that we're making our audience much smaller, it's gonna be even more highly targeted. Now, I'm not gonna do it in this video because that's gonna take me forever to break this down and do it all. So what I'm going to do for you guys is I'm gonna create an ad set from scratch and walk you through it step by step and what I'm thinking when I'm doing it so it makes sense for you guys so you guys can do it as well. So I went ahead and pulled up one of my um, test accounts here. And let's say we're getting started. Let's say we have a product that's dog related, like a dog toy or a dog shirt or whatever. So obviously, if we're gonna go in here to a targeting, the first thing that comes to mind is dogs. We wanna target people who like dogs, right? That's gonna be the most broad interest out there, right? So dogs, it says in here that it has a potential reach of 100 million people, okay? So from here, 
what would be the next uh, interest that we might think of? And this is what gets hard not having audience insights anymore because you can't find those affinity uh, interests anymore. So you would just type the letter D and see what comes up when you, you know, if you think of dogs. So if I'm looking at here at sizes, I will go for dog breed. But what about just breed by itself? Would that work? Is that an interest? Well, yeah, that's probably a lot bigger. Dog breed. Breeds 24 dog breed is 87 so my next one will be dog breed now if i was going to do it this way this will take hours and hours and hours and that's why i have connect here again link in the description and the comments uh because as you can see i have the account pull up and i already put in dogs and i wanted to see what was available so i can move everything by the size of the audience here so to make my life easier, I'm just going to select the most broad interest depending on the audience size because you can change this based on audience size. So obviously dogs, uh, dog breed, that's another one that's not related to a puppy. That could be, that's pretty, that's pretty, uh, pretty broad. Okay. I don't know if I want to do puppy there. Let's use, so you know what? Here I would do dogs and dog dog breeds at the top okay so my next move will be here and be narrow audience okay so now let's take in the next step so what do we have next we have dog training dog food uh see i'll remove these dog training dog food animal rescue group because people are hardcore about that eh, let's do dog lovers dog walking and now we're getting into the breeds, right? But I don't want to go into breeds yet. I want to keep it very generic. So dog grooming, right? Uh, German Shepherd, that's pretty popular, but I will do dog grooming. I want to keep it very, very broad. Dog health. I love my dog. Uh, let's see. For the sake of this exercise, I'm not going to go too far with it, but let's say dog agility, pet sitting. No, not pet sitting uh let's keep it right here so i'm actually going to grab them so usually you would just type in one by one or i can just show selected and then select all apply selected to ad set and it's just going to give it to me so i can just copy and paste it it's make it it makes it so much quicker so instead of just trying to do one by one so i'm going to bring it here and actually with connectio you can actually have it layer it for you and i'll show you guys at the end of the video how to layer it directly to connectio so now i'm going to post this into my second layer right and let's check our numbers now we're down to 32 million from 100 million so notice that our audience got much smaller now you guys can do like me on your first ad set and just stack two super broad audiences on top of each other like i did or you can just try testing getting even more narrow as long as you keep that audience a pretty big good size right so let's go a little a step farther with it so I'm gonna close this, go back to audience search. And remember, I'm moving quickly because I'm recording this video for you guys. But when you're selecting your interest, you really wanna look into them and you really wanna see what they are. And that's why I like using Connectio because I can pull a lot of them up right away instead of just going in here, narrow farther, and then play the guessing game. Because without Indian audience insights, what are you gonna do? You're just gonna guess like German Shepherd and see what comes up. Yeah, that's a long way to do it. You can do it that way, certainly. But let's go back and start narrowing even down further. So I'm going to select all of them just because for this example. Uh, I'm going to select all. I'm going to take a second to pull it up. I'm going to click show selected. I'm going to click all, show suggestions. And now Connect is going to do the work for me. So I'm just going to click all for this example, right? Show selected um and then i'm gonna create uh hit um all right here make sure all of them are selected apply selected to ad set and connect is gonna bring them over here and here i can do two things i can just copy manually from here copy to clipboard right and then bring it here and do my third layer and now my third layer is here, and we're still at 32 million, which is a pretty big audience. But the cool thing about this is, remember, Facebook is going to target anyone who has these three interests under the profile, any of these. So you can really get very targeted with this if you go even further, if you want to take another layer. So you can keep going and going and going.
So to do it a lot quicker, we go back to Connectio. And then all we have to do here is, is add a layer, add a layer, divide interest randomly if you want it random, or like I do it based on audience size, because I want to keep that audience as big as I can. So I'll click that. Connect is going to do the work for me. And then all I have to do is click apply to single ad set because the account's connected to Connectio, so it fills the ad set for you. Or you can do it manually, which I do it manually because it's a lot faster for me. So we just grab here, go here, and let's say I want to narrow it down one more. And you guys get the idea. Boom, there's my extra layer. So now we're down to 13 million people. But 13 million people, yeah, is that like a huge scalable audience? Probably not. But to get you started and get those sales going on with highly targeted people that like each of these interests, because guess what? If you're targeting people who like all of these interests in their profile, they're obsessed with dogs and they're most likely to buy something that's dog related. So if you have a product that is not only a passionate product, but also a necessity, it's going to be a winner. I can assure you of that. And remember, you don't have to use Connect here. You can just type in word by word and look for the interest. But right now, without audience insights, this is the fastest and most accurate way to get it done as quickly as possible. Guys, if you like that video, make sure to check out the links in the description below. Help support the channel. And if you want to keep learning about Facebook ads and digital marketing in general, make sure to check out one of the videos right above me. And I will see you guys in the next video.